yes, the Necronomicon. We meet again. We must know the nuances of the prophecy. How the world's going to end and how to prevent it. It will take several hours. I must turn these rancid pages with forceps sterilized in boiling holy water. It is then that I can re-inscribe the language of the ancients to the modern language of English, which is the only language versatile enough to encompass the unholy terror emblazoned upon these pages. Terror which can scarcely be described. In the meantime, Howard and I will search your library for other tomes that can help us in our quest for truth. And through that truth, salvation. Be wary in your search, for surely forces have been unleashed that seek your doom. Our doom? Your doom! A doom so horrible it would be uncouth of me to speak of it. So I will! Dude. Brick, I'm so scared. It's so obvious to me that Kennedy was killed by the Mafia, who were hired by the Cuban government, who were placed under command of the Soviet High Council, who were placed in power by aliens from the Kuiper Belt or Zeta Reticuli, who landed during the Tunguska event of 1908. And it all led to the death of Marilyn Monroe and the cannibalism of Jimmy Hoffa, and was funded by the dreaded Federal Reserve. The mind of God is the universe, Howard, and a microcosm of that mind is the technological singularity. The universe is the mind of God. God is all-powerful, and power corrupts. We must let the public know. No, Howard. No one will listen. We must continue to work in secret, posting information on the intranets and doing research at the library. Perhaps somebody will be willing to break his or her sacred oath. Perhaps this book, written by the ancient and evil Abdul al Hazared, compiled by Alois Wormus, and edited by Shakespeare, who did not write plays, but did edit satanic manuscripts. Perhaps this book will guide us towards the truth. These tomes were written by fools. Goddamn craven fools. It would take a fool to write such a tale of woe and risk the ashen ruins of their sanity. Perhaps today is the day where humanity exits its long adolescence that began with the fall of the children's sandcastle that was the Roman Empire, the puberty of the Middle Ages, the precocious homecoming dance of the Renaissance, the Noetalism of the College of the Enlightenment, on into the mad, stormy world of the modern era where humanity's significant other left it and humanity lost its virginity to the moon. You speak such poetry. Poetry slides off my tongue like shit through a goose. Look, an evil agent. The most merciful thing in the world is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance amidst the black sea of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. Dr. Ryan, this Necronomicon discusses, in metaphorical form, the history of worldwide conspiracy. Does it discuss giant monsters? Yes, it does. Tell me more. The world 
will end at midnight. Gosh. Indeed. He's, He's gone. gone. He will return, no doubt. All must be doubted. There can be no lack of doubt. Keep quiet. Be the wingman. Let me do the talking. Oh, hey, what's going on? Cut the malarkey. What news do you bring, Walpole? Cut the malarkey. What did you find out, Walpole? I found everything. Things that would drive a lesser person mad. I'm no lesser a man than you. Howard is the only lesser man here, and he cannot comprehend his own madness. So he may stay. Hey! Silence, you vacuous whore! Well, the first thing is that we are now in the end times prophesied by the Revelation. The seventh seal falls at night, and there shall be no morning. And no morning! Because there will be nobody left to mourn! Be quiet, or die. <coughs> Until we meet again. Bye, my love. I am loath to think I shall never see her again. Whatever do you mean? The ninjas will kill her, no doubt, along with your brother and his wife or whatever. The world ends at midnight and the enemy becomes more daring. None of us are safe, especially not you, the inheritor of the Necronomicon. We have engaged, it seems, in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Yes, but who is the cat and who is the mouse? It doesn't matter when the mouse can chase the cat. Shut up and stay here. Don't let anyone kill you. They are in grave danger. What do you mean? Are there giant monsters? Worse. What could be worse? We have the Necronomicon, but not before the enemy has tasted sweet nectar. They have killed Walpole, and your brother and his wife or whatever. Come on, let's go get beer and sandwiches, and relax by talking about 9-11 and the Holocaust. You have to be ignorant and illiterate to believe the official story. Necronomicon to you.
Not the turkey.